today on Divorce Court. I want the judge to help James and I learn to compromise. She's a tip tap person. Sometimes she does stuff just to get back at me. He expects sex all day, every day. I mean, I've been asking her for five years. But one thing, it's always, it's always been a problem. I feel like if he's not doing anything outside the bedroom to please me, then he doesn't deserve to get anything inside the bedroom. It's only so many times you ask somebody for something until you just say, forget it. Just walk away. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Ronisha Williams and James Williams, Mr. and Mrs. Williams. You have been married for a year and a half, even though you are only 22 and you are 23. So you got married very early. No kids together, no kids anywhere, right? No. <laughs> Mr. Williams, your wife says that you are insensitive about her weight issues, that you make fun of. Not that you dislike her weight, because obviously you, you're still loving on her and you enjoy her. <laughs> But uh, that you you are insensitive by the things that you say and do. Do you do you know what she's referring to? I have no idea what she's talking about. Why don't you tell me, Ms. Williams, why you believe he's insensitive about your weight? Okay, so recently I told James um, I want to go get a gastric sleeve to help me out, and he's like, "Well, I feel like if you lose weight, everybody gonna want you." Like, what do you mean they don't want me now? Then he goes to the point where he says, you, um, a lot of people are gonna give you attention and you like attention. So I'm like, it's either you want me to lose weight or you do not. Either way, it, I'm trying to lose weight. Mm -hmm. And that goes into sex, where I don't want to have sex with you because I know my weight and I don't like the way I look. And he doesn't care, but... But you care. But I care. Mr. Williams? Who said they'll go to the gym with you every day? Who woke you up in the morning to actually run this? You gonna run with me today? I don't, I don't wake up early in the morning. It don't matter. I woke you up. I wake up early. Who now, says, Renisha, I'll do everything now, Mrs. with Weez, you? I'm, go I'm, I'm gonna say this to you. I, I hope you don't feel like I'm picking on you. No, it's okay. Because I'm trying to, I'm trying to help. <laughs> it's nice to have someone who's encouraging and on your side when you're trying to do something that's important to you. And I know it's not always convenient and I know it's not always fun. But if he's in there in your corner saying, hey, let's get up, let's walk. I mean, walking is the best thing in the world. I mean, when you, when you want to lose weight or something. Don't you see that as a sign of love and appreciation and, and assistance? I do until it's 102 degrees outside. There ain't no shade. And he want, I'm like, James, I'm going to try to walk two. I'm going to try to walk two laps. I did a lap and a half. And he, <laughs> that's when I'm going to go nowhere with you. Because you don't never want to do nothing. I'm like, why? That is not called for. At least I got up and tried. Yes, you did. You did. You get up. You got up and tried. Mr. Williams, she says you're just not a friendly guy. Is that true? No. You're a friendly guy. Do you like to go out? Do, oh, no, no, no. Do you guys That's have true. fun? She want to go out to eat. I like. I don't. I don't like going out to eat because I don't eat as much as I used to. So I don't. I don't. Then she be like. Because you lost a lot of weight. You I lost, lost 40, 45 pounds. I lost 45 pounds since March. <laughs> this by this by going. This, this by just going by myself. So I have no problems going with her. But every time I try to go, if anything we got to do with working out, she just, no, she just, no, no. Oh, God. It's always, it's is, always is, something. Is he right, Ms. Mrs. Williams? Partially right. Oh, my God. Just okay, right. Just he right. right. But yes. I try. I try. How? Then she complained about being sore. If you're not sore, you haven't done nothing. You have to, she, she never pushes herself. Never. Not one time. That's all I, she just, like, before we go, she, she said, she said uh, a limit. She, this is how much you gonna do. Like when, when the, with the track takes away, she said she said she gonna do three laps. She did one and a half. And like, I quit. I'm like, you only got one more left. Come on, just just don't do this last one. You can go ahead and leave. See, no, you always. That's all I like going. You always pushing me. You ain't pushing yourself. If I don't try to motivate you, then I have asthma. It is 102 degrees outside. It's early Are in the you, morning. Yeah, it and, not and be it, that we hot live in Houston. Fast. It's it's hot. It was humid. It did not be hot. Are you? Against her getting the gastric bypass surgery that she wants or the sleeve or whichever she wants because you're afraid that she's going to actually lose the weight and become thin and, and, and great, or you just think no. yes, it's a lazy yes. man's way of getting yes. what, what everything is done. Yes, yes. When I feel like if she get that done, she's not gonna appreciate it as more as if she work with it. Like she work it off. When you work it off, you're gonna want to keep it off. It's, if you're going doing that, that's cheating. That's cheating. Well, it's not cheating. It's Thank a different you. way to go.
but it's not cheating. But I understand what both of you are saying. Let's move on to another topic. Now, you're still awfully young, and you still haven't been married very long, and I just kind of want to know... She didn't even know what to say. Where the desire went. Do, do, do you see what I'm saying? James believes that because we're married, we're supposed to have sex whenever he wants, all the time. And I don't feel that way. I don't... I'm not... I don't want to have sex as many times as he does. And if I don't do now it... how way, often does he want? If I say one time a day, he... Oh, my God. If, if I say one time a day, he... Well, what about later? Why I got to be a time? Why I got to be a time limit? Why I always got to hurry up? I'm... Because I'm not no, no, feeling no. it. How many times a week? You said twice a week. <laughs> now, 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 Ms. Williams. Oh. I'm try... Twice? I'm a practical woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I like to get things done and get things... Like, you guys have only been married a year and a half. You know? <sighs> they like a lot of sex. They just do. <laughs> Are you being stingy with it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Extremely yes, stingy. But... I mean, I wouldn't say stingy. Some what people, do you call it then? My friend complained that she, uh, her fiance complains about so? he getting it every two days. Golly, I just at least you getting some. <laughs> Can't control it. Can't control huh? what happened. Can't control it. That's been my boyfriend since so, so fifteen urge. years old, and like that's my best friend. Every so he's week. just old news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically, what you no, trying to say? That's not it. It's just. It's James. He just he takes it overboard. I'm like, okay, that's enough. How do you, how do you, do you take say that overboard? overboard? What do you mean? He take it overboard. He he want to have sex in the car. He's like, come to come come up here to my job. I'm like, no. What the what's wrong with you? <laughs> and then people tell him, you supposed to do what you want because that's your husband. No, that is not the way it works. No. And I feel like you gotta please me outside the bedroom for me to want you inside. Oh. And how, now, that was how, very deep. How, how do I? That was very, how do very I love? deep. How do I know? What is it that he's doing outside of the bedroom that hurts you so much you feel like you don't want him anymore? Because he's rude. Like, if I asked him, um, I said, James, let's go. We had been working out, going to the gym a whole week, and we had went out to eat, and I had a cheat day. Then the next week, we really didn't do anything. I kept waking up late and going straight to work. So... And that weekend came, and I'm like, James, let's go to the movies and out to eat. He said, no, you don't deserve to go out to eat. You ain't went to the gym all week. Like, what kind of... What do you mean? And then he's like, you think I want to watch you wolf down food? And I know you didn't work out. And then he apologized for it, but the whole point is, you still said it. And when you're angry, things come out that you've mm -hmm. been holding in. Ladies. Who wants to talk about If he's man? mad and he wants to walk off, don't pick at him. He's not in a position to hear what you have got to say. He's angry. Oh. Ms. Williams, you say your main concern with Mr. Williams is about his temper, that he gets so angry that it frightens you. And I want you to tell me about that. James has a temper. If things don't go his way, he's punched holes in a wall. He's punched his car. It, because With I, his fist? Yes, his fist. He punches wow. gates, anything that's in the way. Do you have a picture of any of the damage he's yes, done? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. Have you really punched a car? His own car. <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> yes. Didn't that hurt? No. Did you do that with your foot, though? You kicked that. No. No, he punched that with his fist. And it didn't... You, nothing broke? Nothing? No. He had so many scars from everything he's punched. What happened when he punched the car? Why was he so angry? Because I wanted... Because <laughs> I wanted to talk to him, and I told him... I hate when he walks off when he's mad. I want you to stay there and talk. And when he's mad, he don't want to talk. Just get out of his face. How long have I now, wait a minute. Did you want to talk to him or did you want to fight with him? That's I wanted two to talk. I was, I was trying to understand. I'm like, tell me what I did wrong. Don't just walk away. Tell me what Can, I did. Ladies. Who wants to talk to him? If he's man? mad and he wants <sighs> to walk off, don't pick at him. He's not in a position to hear what you have got to say. He's angry. Oh. Thank you. You cannot explain anything. You just, you know, I, my husband gave me a look. I'm like, hey, baby, whenever you're ready. <laughs> because it's not... I don't get... You don't get your point across. Because he's angry. You see what I'm saying? 
Yeah, but even when he calmed down, he just linger on things. Doesn't you know? matter. Just watch out. Just leave him alone. Well, well now, no, wait a minute now. That, that, I'm not going that far. But t tell me some things he's gotten angry about, other than not that punching the car isn't enough, but is it a constant thing? Is it something that's... It is. Everybody's scared of him. His niece and nephew are scared of him. If I walk in the room, everybody playing. If James walk in the room, everybody sit down. <laughs> is, <laughs> do you have a reputation for being a hothead, Mr. Williams? Yes. To be honest, we're here. Yes. It's divorce court. Yes, you I know, do. You have a reputation for... Do, are you concerned about the fact that everybody thinks you're a hothead? No. You you don't mind being a hothead? Or I mean, is it so, something you would like to control? It's not everything. It's like stuff that should make you mad makes me mad. But when I get mad, it's like everybody just shivers. Like, I just like I just hurt people. I, not one time have I hurt anybody. Oh, but why are we here? But you punched the car, though, see? But I didn't hear no. And I understand that, and I understand that, but punching the car is some serious, scary business. It really is. That you've got that much anger that you can take your fist and, and, and bend metal with it and feel nothing. No, but it's not, it's not like it just all of a sudden happened. It was time. It had been probably like 10 minutes since I've been trying to leave. When every time I try to leave, she try her hardest to stop me. Okay. Well, I didn't find my way out the apartment. I didn't find my way to my car. And then when I got in my car, she tried to close my door. Move. What else, what else I got to do to tell you to move? I didn't tell you move to like, like 100 times. Move. Watch out. Let me leave. And you still just following me. James, talk to me. I don't want to talk to you right now. Just let me calm down. I got you. I, I hear what you're telling me. There was a girl. She came up, and he was third. talking to her and texting her all day. So I ended up seeing his phone, and he had sent her a picture of his penis. At the end of the day, Mrs. Williams, I understand that you're simply afraid that he's working his way up to breaking up with you. And it has something to do with an ex that he's reconnected with. Why don't you tell me about that? OK. Um, when me and James first started dating, I'd say the third year of us dating, uh, there was a girl. She came up, and what he was third? talking to her and texting her all day. And I'm like, what? What, what you got going on? And he's like, oh, she just a friend. Then that's when MySpace was on. So mm -hmm. I get on MySpace. He got pictures of her and him kissed, kissing all over his page. That was the first all, six months. OK, whatever. It was all over his page. They kissing, calling each other babe. And I called How my wife. How long ago did you see this? this? This was in the beginning of our relationship. Uh -huh. I was like, what's this all about? He's like, she's just a friend. She, I'm like, if she's not a friend, you calling her baby and kissing her. So he ended up telling me he didn't know if he wants to be with me or her, and we broke up. Uh, two months passed by, we ended up getting back together, and I told him, if I ever find out you're talking to her again, we're done. So came this year, James told, had been t uh, texting a coworker, and I told him I didn't have a problem with him hanging out, whoever he wanted to hang out with is fine. But no, you're too married, and there's boundaries. He was texting a coworker and saying he was going to hang out, and I'm like, okay. People had problems that I let him hang out with other females, but it was a trust thing that was there. So James wow. ended up coming out to me and said, um, you know how I told you it, this was so and so that I was texting? Well, I lied. It was really the yes. girl. Yes. And I'm like, what the heck is your problem? Like, why would you do that eggs. to me? And then he told me, um, well, you said I can have a hall pass. I'm like... Oh, you dry. But first of all, she, was, she wasn't an ex. I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna let you respond completely. She wasn't an ex. She was... That's who she, you wanted to be with. But anyways, uh, he said, I want to have a hall pass. And I'm like, James, what... what? I'm, I don't understand what you got going on. He... You want sex all the time because I'm not giving it to you. You ask me who I'm... Uh, then who I'm supposed to have sex with. I'm supposed to go my whole life without sex. So the girl... I ended up seeing his phone, and he had sent her a picture of his penis. And, uh, and, oh, and you're what just it, going above and beyond, huh? And what did she text? She texted him and said, "You forgot I already felt that before." Miss Williams, uninterrupted. Mrs. Williams, respond if you. If... Okay, all upon she lied. First of all, that was never an ex. Three years is not the beginning. That was the first six months. Mm -hmm. I did not send a picture of my penis. That's that was a lie. That's a lie. Has this woman that you used to like three years ago popped up again, though, in your current day activities? Yes. And in what manner? Just somebody to talk to. That's it. I've never cheated on her. Never. Kissing whole... is not a form of cheating? It wasn't on the lips. 
Oh. Didn't give me my lips. And that was you... the first six months. Mr. Mr. Williams, do you love her? Of course. I wouldn't be here now if I didn't. And you want to be happy with her? Of course. Right? You're not looking to leave or go nowhere. No. Ms. Williams, do you believe him? No. And why don't you believe him? Because his daily actions, he stay... To he myself? Not... Okay, we're not talking about that right now. He just, like, I try to be there for him. If things going wrong, he's like, oh, my car broke. Oh, now this, now that. Dang, I can't win for nothing. I'm like, it's gonna be okay, just pray about it. He, Ronisha, sometimes I don't wanna hear that. Then he complained that his car keep missing. I'm like, well, just get rid of it, sell it. That's why I'm gonna talk to you now. That's exactly why I hate talking to you. Cause I don't wanna get rid of my car. I'm like, I'm just trying to help you. And he always pushes me away. So you don't, and then he told me when he comes home, it's like he's just coming, he's just coming home to just an apartment. I was like, so you're not happy to be home? And he's like, no. Do you say that? I said that once. You still said it. Yeah, I, I said it once. I've got something I wanna say to both of you. Mrs. Williams, I like you a great deal. And I think that you don't like yourself quite enough. I think you're far more beautiful than you believe with that, you know, milk chocolate brown smooth <laughs> skin all around over there, husband in there, madly in love with you, can't get enough touching of you. And I don't know if it's from looking at the magazines or the television or whatever that tells you that your color of your skin, the texture of your hair, or the shape of your body is inappropriate or ugly, but none of that is true. Mm -hmm. And I want you to feel inspired by his desire to want to help you lose weight. You're not happy with your weight. You're more unhappy with it than he is. And it is a struggle to lose a lot of weight. I know that. It's a great struggle. But, you know, under a doctor's care, walking, changing your eating habits instead of going out, eating in, it's something that you can do together and be together. And I think your self-loathing comes out as being a perpetually unpleasant person. That's what's making him upset. It's, well, you know, my car's not working. Oh, just pray on it. That's not immediate assistance. I mean, praying on it is fine, but he needs some <laughs> practical right now. Yes. How do I get from point A to point B advice? And I think that you are placing a lot of your self-loathing on him. And Mr. Williams, I think you're trying to do the right thing. You could cool off a little bit. I be trying to. You, 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 if you were hot and angry because of something she said and a man came in here with a tech nine and put it to your head, you'd be able to stop yelling, wouldn't you? It's a matter of motivation. You don't think it's life worthy to stop hollering at somebody. It's easier and simpler to go ahead and holler. You are destroying the thing that you're trying to build up when you're bringing all that anger to her. So that's a tech nine to your relationship. That's a, that's a Glock to your heart, okay? okay? And I want you to look at your manliness to the extent that you can control your temper. A two-year-old cannot. A two-year-old is not a man. You are a man. Do that which a two-year-old cannot do. Do you understand? I don't think you're a bad guy at all. I really don't. I think you two just are young and don't know how to get from point A to B without letting your emotions get in the way. Best of luck to the both of you. This matter is a <laughs> I think definitely we should try to listen to each other before we just start talking. Okay, I, I think we should both try to control our attitude. Or just you. Especially me. <laughs>